The Finnish winter landscape looks pretty enough, but the ice hides an ugly truth. The water is poisoned. This is the Baltic, an enclosed sea bordered by nine countries who all at one time or another have tipped tons of toxins into the water. Who is to blame for poisoning the Baltic? First of all, we are all sinners. All the nations which are around the Baltic are sinners. Uh, but of course there are spots which are worse than others. And uh, if you take uh, one spot, you can say that St. Petersburg was a very bad spot. Now it's improving. Kaliningrad is very bad now. 400,000 people are letting their sewage into the Baltic without any treatment. But if we talk about Finland, uh, Finland's agriculture is very bad too. The sea's been a dumping ground for Europe's darkest secrets. Thousands of Second World War aeroplanes, chemical weapons and munitions. The Soviet Union threw thousands of dead German soldiers into the water. And now the Finnish government is investigating reports that Russian nuclear waste has also been dumped. The Helsinki Commission, or HELCOM, who have been trying to save this sea, estimate there are between 35,000 and 40,000 tonnes of chemical weapons, mainly gases, lying on the seabed. They're increasingly worried now that trying to bring up those weapons will release yet more toxic material into the water. The volatile seabed will be further disturbed when the new and controversial Nord Stream pipeline is laid in the spring. The pipe will transport gas from Russia to Germany and it's divided old Baltic loyalties. But Helcom hope the sea's ecological crisis will bring them back around the table. Well, I must say that I'm uh, extremely pleased that we will see presidents, prime ministers, uh, business leaders, NGOs uh, gathering here in Helsinki in order to express not only that they see that it is important to protect the Baltic, but also actually showing their specific commitments for how they are going to do it. The Baltic is where Western, Eastern and Russian politics all meet. They're here to agree a way to save a sea. But if the old east-west cracks appear, then the water under the ice will be even more polluted by the time spring arrives. Stephen Cole, Al Jazeera, Helsinki.